The government is insisting it will not negotiate or engage with the so-called construction mafia. Now this comes as a criminal syndicate halt various development projects in several provinces. Five suspects appeared in court on Monday for allegedly storming a construction site and intimidating workers in Guazulu, Natal. Public Works and Infrastructure Minister Dean McPherson joins us now for more about government's efforts uh, to stop and uh, to eradicate this crime. Minister, very good morning to you. Thank you very much for joining us on ENCA. I mean, at this early start of the seventh administration, do you believe that government is doing enough to fight back against these types of mafias? Uh, good morning to you and good morning to the viewers. Um, I don't think previously government has done enough, um, and I think that there's general recognition of that, which is why in the seventh administration in the government of national unity, we are making it a priority to ensure that we secure and take back our construction sites that are being led uh, by the state through uh, infrastructure development so that we can make sure that our projects are delivered on time and on budget uh, and that we can get this desperately needed infrastructure into the ground to our communities and to ultimately drive economic growth in the country. If we simply sit back and allow um, these crooks and gangsters who are well armed, who uh, are uh, violent in nature, who commit murder at times, to uh, overrun us um, and to continue with their terror across the country uh, at our construction sites, um, then we're never going to be able to deliver on our mandate. So I think that there is a renewed energy and a renewed focus on this uh, scourge uh, that is plaguing uh, various parts of the country, particularly in KwaZulu-Natal, to come together, work together across the various spheres of government 